what? And the fan is just spinning. Well, it was then, because he only goes, Zzz, when I stuck my finger on it. But how the hell did I stick my finger on it? It's got a cage on it. Never mind. It's not even warm, and it better not be over. M63, Roger. Yeah, my fan used to kick it on mine on 5 watts as well on it. <clears throat> but no, you're, you've actually stopped uh, transmitting your call sign now, Dave. It's not coming up. Um, I've got the GPS turned on on mine. Obviously, I haven't got a GPS signal inside, but I've manually set it. So, is mine coming up with the um, with the kilometres to you at all? Sorry, Dave. Could you repeat that? I just got somebody walked in. Yeah, so I'm just wondering, is, is your radio showing you how far away I am from you? Because um, I've got the GPS settings on this, so it should tell it should tell you the distance that I am from you. Okay, well the little satellite thing's up. You better tell me how the hell I'll have to go into the uh, the menu to look, will I, Roger? No negative. Normally it just tells you straight on the screen, Dave. And um, when you're having a QSO, it did with a lot of ice spots. So I think it only does it in DN mode after a while. Uh, it comes up with a call sign, and then it tells you how many kilometres away you are. Um, but I don't think it'll do it. But I mean, I'm just there's back to me power meter, power meter, just over four and a half watts. It's actually saying I'm pouring out. What do you reckon the distance is uh, between us, Dave? Would you say at the moment? Uh, Sam, located on Walney Island, uh, to yourself, just for the video. Well, if we have to drive round, we know what it is. But I'm just trying to think directly across. So if I hit, I'm about six, seven miles from Blackpool Tower, and we go straight up the coast across. Would I be exaggerating if about 35 miles, Dave, over? I'm 63. I don't know, Dave. I'm, I'm reckon about 10 miles, uh, but I could be wrong. I don't know. Um, but no, I said the audio is, uh, is absolutely perfect to me, mate. Um, it really is. That's why I uh, I wanted another uh, digital radio uh, after the 400 went because after trying it with my mate up the course, just the quality of it, uh, we were absolutely astounded, mate, how well it worked between it. Because uh, my other mate, the uh, Liam 6 CVP, was just shouting. Uh, equally, he was uh, as impressed with it as what I am. Uh, back to you. Yeah, Roger, Dave. Um, it is impressive. It's absolutely impressive. I mean, there's no doubt about it. But that's also, on ICOM, you know, that's also impressive, um, on the digital, you know. I've just pressed the display button and the compass has come up, but nothing's showing on it, over. Yeah, Roger, likewise for yourself. I think it only does it in DN mode, if I'm not mistaken, uh, Dave. Um, as I say, this is the full, uh, I think, 12.5 um, kilohertz, I think, bandwidth we've got, or what have you. I think it's all it's all for voice, isn't it? On this, it doesn't really for, for data or nothing. I think the other ones for sending uh, pictures and things, uh, the DN mode. But I don't have the D. Uh, I don't have the, uh, the the camera microphone on this one. No, I did What do you want to try the DN mode and let's see what it says on the compass and the distance and everything over? Yeah, we'll give it a try in DN mode. We're going. M0 AUT, M60 HV, in DN mode. Yeah, you on frequency, Dave? <coughs> oh, I don't know what you've pressed. I've not got you. I'll give you another go. M0 AUT, M60 HV, in DN mode. M60HV, M0AUT in DN mode, you copy now? Yeah, I've got you, but it's still not sending the distance. It used to do it on the uh, on the 400. I might just have a setting wrong on this uh, on this Andel. Um, yeah, but no, I'm def definitely impressed, mate. <laughs> I think it's brilliant, Dave. It's uh, in, in essence, it's created uh, a private network. Well, that's very true, because there ain't that many on it. <laughs> And that's what I like about it as well. That's, <laughs> sorry, that's also with the ASU, you know. Uh, the uh, icon. It's a shame you ain't got one, but if you want to, I've got the the DVAP in a DHAP already with a Raspberry Pi, and I just have to go in and change the call sign of the frequency for you, and then I've got the handheld. I just need to change the call sign, so you can actually play with it if you wanted. And hook it up to your big antenna. 